Now, let's go ahead and move on to the dicot seed. And I'm going to start with the lima bean first. Now, this has been soaking for about uh, eight hours or so, so it comes off pretty easy. You can see that just by moving my fingers, that the seed coat is literally falling right off. So that's the seed coat. I'm going to put that aside and then very gently, you can see the, if I point right here, you can see a little bit of the embryo sticking out right there. And we don't want to damage that. We want to try to keep that intact. And I'm going to just ever so gently just give it a little pinch, just a very small pinch. This is a die cot, so it's going to split in two normally. And as I open that up, you can see the two halves of the bean, of the bean seed. And mo what you're looking at right here, this is all going to be cotyledon, food for the developing embryo, all cotyledon. And then you can see this structure right here. This is going to be our embryo. So what we can do sometimes, if it's not obvious right away, is I can put just a very small amount of iodine on here. And then I'm just going to pat this. And you can see this white area right here. This is the part of the embryo right here. This is going to be the epicotyl or plumule. And then I like to divide this into thirds. So that would be the top third. The middle third right here would be the hypocotyl. And the lower third right here would be the radical, which will develop into our root. And those are the parts of the bean seed that you want to see. Now lastly, I have a kidney bean here. And you can see if I push, I pinch it a little bit, it's not going to come apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the very tip of the scalpel, hold it like a pencil, I'm actually going to put it in the tray, and just with the very tip of the scalpel, I'm just going to cut through that seed coat. I'm not going to go into the seed hardly at all. And that should be enough to peel away the seed coat. And as you can see, I'm starting to peel it away ever so gently. I'm going to peel that away. That's all the seed coat. And I'm taking care not to squeeze it or pinch it too hard. I don't want to damage the embryo. And you can see the embryo sticking out right there just a little bit. Now I'm going to give it just a little pinch so I can pull this apart. There we go. It should just break in two automatically because it is a dicot seed. Let me move some of these other parts out of the way. I'm going to dab this just a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of iodine on here so to bring out the color. Just a very small amount. And I'm going to soak it up just a little bit there. And if we look in here, you can see the embryo right here. Here's the embryo. And then you can see the top part of that embryo right there that epicotyl or plumule. And then the middle third is going to be the hypocotyl. And then the lower third is going to be the radical. And again, all of this other area right here is going to be our cotyledon, all cotyledon, all cotyledon, which is going to be our future food for our developing embryo. And that's going to be it for the bean seed dissection.